This segment featuring the iDrive program is sponsored by AAA Mid-Atlantic. Welcome back to our live broadcast from Richmond International Raceway. This is AAA Mid-Atlantic's iDrive program. It's a two-day event. We were out yesterday and caught some of the young people in action as they experienced a whole bunch of activities, including the chance to get behind the wheel of a golf cart while they're experiencing very common distractions. Take a look. Learning to drive in a real live vehicle. Okay, it's a golf cart, but it is a challenge, and we're going to talk to a mom, a dad, and a police officer about what's going on behind us here. First, I'm going to start with Dad, because you're on my right, uh, and this is Blake Forbes. Uh, you have a youngster out here? Yes, I do. How old? 15. 15. So uh, just getting into the whole process. Exactly. This is his first experience with yeah. this. And how's he doing so far? He's doing very well. He hasn't flipped a golf cart or anything yet. I didn't even hit a cone. <laughs> Very good. Um, was he excited about this or was this like, oh, do we have to? Or I think it's exciting. It uh, goes along with the school curriculum. He's yeah. into that. And he's not in class. And, right. this, and this is kind of fun. He gets to drive a golf cart. Do uh, you think he's actually, some of this is uh, sinking in? He's been through uh, simulations and we've got all these things going in on. Uh, I think it'll sink in more once uh, he sees me pull out my phone when I'm driving and he <laughs> tells me to stop. So. <laughs> Very good. You didn't hear that. Uh, uh, let's uh, move on down to the mom, and this is Cheryl Lewis. And Cheryl, um, your child is a boy or a girl? I have a daughter. You have a daughter? She's 15. She's 15. Yeah, she doesn't get her learners till January. Okay. So. Are you scared to death? I am for her. She did hit a cone or two out yeah. here on the golf cart, okay. uh, but she's really excited and wanted to do this. It was the first thing she brought home with all the paper forms for us to sign. Yeah. This was the one I saw first. She really wanted to go. Yeah, and obviously takes a lot away from this. I mean, and uh, learns a little bit about the do's and don'ts. And um, I think one of the things I've learned here is it, it is hitting the kids that uh, things happen to you, not just to other folks. Yes. Yeah. The state trooper in there said, you know, teenagers think they're invincible, which we all did. Yes. And I think these interactive lessons, I think they're going to have an impact on them. It's okay. a wonderful opportunity. Thank you for being out here with your child. All right, Officer Corporal Sean Copelove of Henrico, you're actually taking the kids through this course. Correct. Without Correct. a helmet, I noticed. Without a helmet or a seatbelt. <laughs> <laughs> um, do the different kids uh, react differently, or is everybody pretty much getting the same out of it? Well, it depends. Um, there, we've got some that have never driven a car, and then some that actually have their learner's permit, so some that have experience. But we find out with doing the distractions in the golf cart, whether it be picking up change, your cell phone, looking at a map, or grabbing us like a bottle of water or a piece of candy out the back while they're driving, mm -hmm. they still seem to uh, have difficulty navigating the course. Well, and that's that's the thing. It, there is distractions. It's not just driving the the cart through the course here. Uh, you know, I noticed one uh, person jumps out in front of the cart at, at a, a given time, and, and uh, you're not telling them in advance, I'm going to ask you to get me a, something out of the back. And they, they, they um, do they come, to, some of them come to a complete stop? Yeah, when we ask them to do something, it seems like it divides our attention. It seems like they want to bring it to a stop, and we have to tell them, hey, when you're driving, you can't bring the car to a stop in the middle <laughs> of the road, so you have to keep on going. Yeah. So, uh, when uh, you say you've got kids that have learner's permits and, and kids that are, this is their very first experience, um, it's got to be fun for you to, to kind of interact with them a little bit as well. Yeah, it is. I mean, some of them are very scared getting behind the wheel. Some of them feel like they're overconfident getting behind the wheel. So we've got all levels. Some that think I'm the not going to hit a cone. The overconfident yeah. ones are the ones you're going to distract a lot. Those are the ones, yeah. Those <laughs> yeah. are the ones you have to be worried about. Yeah. Exactly. Um, in your experience uh, with uh, being a police officer in Henrico County, I'm sure you've seen things that just scare you to death and, and you have to deal with. Um, the whole point of this is to make sure that these kids are prepared when they go out on the road. Yeah, that's correct. I mean, anything that can uh, bring their attention to what's going on, because there's so many things that they have to multitask these days. And it's not going to be, it might not be them 
it might be the other driver they have to look out for. Yeah. When we started driving, big distraction would be just playing with the radio. It's right. a lot more involved nowadays. Right. Right, you've got you know your cell phones, you've got GPSs, you've got uh, the Bluetooth and all the computer systems on the car. So yeah, there's a lot more that divides one's attention when you're going down the road. Well, thank you very much for helping the kids here, no Mom, problem. Dad. Thanks for bringing the kids out. We got a beautiful day. We're obviously having a great time out here with the kids too on Virginia this morning.